So yeah, I originally came up with a lace rack to hang uh, shot glasses on. And I had a person, because I had set them on a credenza that I built that was cherry, and the white lace on there, somebody said, it looks like a football. And that was the inspiration of making these football racks. And what happened is you'd make one rack, And so you'd say, yeah, that's cool, but I don't like, I, I don't drink. I, I don't use shot glasses. So then it was a coffee mug rack, and then it was, you know, mini helmet rack, and then it was hat racks, so you could put your hats and stuff on there. And I started painting them, of course, team colors, so that way you could match up to your favorite team. And then that led, of course, to a friend of mine wanting a TV stand for a sports room, which is now leading into coming up with football end tables like I have over there. And it's funny how what I do on my other channel is I relate football to life. Because things that happen on a football field, I can relate it into things that have happened in my life. You know, the old saying that there's 10 degrees of separation. And it's funny how this football has evolved into a lot of different things. Like I said, we've got this one. You know, you put your hat in here. The nice thing about this is your hat goes in and it sits out flat. So if you have a bunch of autograph hats, you can put six of them here like that and hang them up and take off one at a time. You know, it's just kind of an inspiration I had. I had a person who said, you know, I need to have a rack to hold my uh, headphones. And he showed me just a bent piece of metal. It's like, I don't work with metal. So I came up with having a football on a base so that way the headphones could sit on here like this. You could put two of them on there. And as I was sitting there looking at the football that I would made, I was thinking in my mind, it kind of looks like a, a, a Lombardi trophy. And so I figured out how to go ahead and you know, make the base and stuff and was able to put it together so I could do these Joe Barty trophies. Football relates to life in so many different ways. And so I do these because people enjoy having things for their sports room and their man cave and stuff. Hang up for a second here. And for me, I like to say, one, that each piece is handcrafted. It's not made on an assembly line in China or anywhere else. That each piece is slightly unique. And no matter what happens to me, what I do will live on. And that's the truth. I'll be gone. I'll be taking that dirt net, pushing it up daisies, but maybe somebody will look at a piece that I made and they'll say, there's Mark Holmes. And so, as I was saying that my designs and stuff come from people's needs. People will say, hey, I need a cutting board. So this is actually a blank that we've actually glued up and using um, originally scrap wood. I end up using, you know, we got maple, walnut, cherry mahogany that's in here and having a pile of wood instead of saying let's make it firewood or throwing it away I wanted to use every bit of piece of it and that's where these cutting boards come in and what I'll do is I'll I've got my Joe Boo logo we'll actually burn those into it I got to finish cutting those and square them up and everything else before they're ready now here's the interesting part here for me and this hit me um, I give away one of these Joe Bardis in each of my live streams as a thank you and a way of giving back to the people that have become channel members or have done super chats. Well, unfortunately, there's one 
person out there, Philly 500. He ended up winning another YouTuber. And he wants his Joe Barty and Kelly Green. Is there any more hideous color than green? But here's what's funny. I've got an idea. Because I'm a man of my word. When I pulled Philly 500's name on there and knew that I had to do this one for him and how much he was going to enjoy having this for his channel. kept trying to think of ways to try and get back at him. Now, I am, I'm a little bit of a prankster. I like a good joke. I like to talk trash and smack and stuff, you know. I like to give people a hard time, but it's not out of maliciousness. It's actually out of uh, friendship. So, at first I was thinking, well, maybe I'll take the Joe Barty and I'll order like some fake dog poo. You know, put some fake dog poo in with him. So when he opens it up, he thinks that I left some real dog poo on it. Thought that would be funny. But then again, I was like, nah, that wouldn't be funny. And it hit me the way to get even with them. If you watch my other channel, you know we have a clip of Philly 500 losing his mind from the draft. He's a big Carson Wentz fan. He's still mad at the Eagles for getting rid of Carson Wentz and, as he put it, not supporting him and giving him what he needs to be successful. And so I figured there's a great way to take the joy out of this trophy. It's going to cost me to do it. But you can't tell him. Don't tell him. I know he doesn't watch this channel, at least not yet. I'll share this with him in the future. So this channel is still relatively new. It doesn't have that many people that follow. So, here's what I figured I'd do. This weekend, they're having the CSA show. The CSA show, Drew Pearson will be there. And I'm going to get some shirts autographed by Drew Pearson along with the football guys that I have in there. And I'm gonna give away some of those shirts. Also, Tony Dorsett will be there. I'll get some autographs from him to give away to the fans as well. Be something special, right? Well, here's where it's gonna get funny. I know what's gonna happen. Philly's going to get this and it's going to be like, yes, I made Mark Holmes, that mother humper, make this trophy for me. It's painted in his favorite Kelly green, the throwback color for the Eagles, right? He's going to be all excited about it, except for one thing. At the autograph signing show. Their new starting quarterback, Jalen Hurts, is going to be there. And what I figured I'd do, I'm going to take this Kelly Green, Joe Barty. I'm going to take Joe Boo. And we're going to go ahead and pay that money to get Jalen Hurts' autograph on the Joe Barty. And of course, I'm going to take Joe Boo to 
to jinx them. So when Philly 500 pulls up this trophy, this Kelly Green, his favorite color of his favorite team, he'll be looking at the autograph of Jalen Hurts, the guy who took his best friend's place. <laughs> you know what they say, revenge is best served cold. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and um, watching. There's millions and millions of places that you could be right now. And I really appreciate you being here with the Joe Blue Sports Report. Excuse me, Joe Boo's day job. And if you're interested in interested in getting any of my sports racks or tables or you got something you want me to build, go ahead and check out my website, cowboyjoeboo.com. And leave me a message and say, hey, Mark, I got an idea for you. Can you do? And I probably can. Lord knows I could do this crappy green color Joe Barty. I could do just about anything. Thank you. And make sure you hit the subscribe button for me. I'm trying to get up to, you know, that thousand uh, subscriber number up there, the 4,000 watch hours, so we can do some things with this channel. I'll see you soon.